Rat and mouse infestations are extremely common in Australia, largely due to the rodents' ability to move, reproduce and survive better than most species of animal. Hi guys, Tom Aldridge here from Suburban Pest Management. We deal with rodents all the time here at SPM, so I thought I would share with you six signs that might indicate that you have rodents. Number one, noises. Rats and mice are particularly active at night. If you listen closely enough, they can often be heard squeaking or running up and down your walls and across your roof. You might also hear them dragging wiring along the roof, which can be particularly concerning, and they can often be so noisy they're mistaken for a possum. The key difference usually being that rodents will continue to be noisy all through the night, whereas possums will leave the roof early in the evening and then return early morning. Number two, gnawing. Rats and mice will constantly be chewing on things to grind down their teeth as they're always growing. This means they'll be chewing on timber in your roof, metal, and even wiring or conduit. Chewing on conduit in the roof can be very dangerous as it can result in exposed wiring, which as we all know, can short out our power or even worse, lead to a fire. Number three, nests. Whilst most nests will be built in the roof or where rodents can live without disturbance, these can also be found outside. Keep an eye out for nests containing materials such as paper, grass, or insulation. Number four, rub marks. Rodents will leave rub marks on walls and surfaces where they track into areas on a regular basis. Their fur leaves a grease-like residue, which often just looks like brown marks on these areas, and can be an indication of a more established problem. Number five, smells. Musty smells can often be experienced in the areas where rodents live. For example, when they excrete large volumes of urine throughout the roof. Number six, droppings. Often droppings are the first sign we notice of an infestation. Just like their size comparison, rat droppings can be quite large, up to 12 millimeters, and mice droppings quite small, between two and six millimeters. And don't confuse mice droppings for gecko droppings, which should have a white tip at one end. And there you have it. Those are our six signs that you might have rodent activity. If you're having a rodent problem, then let us sort it out for you with one of our targeted pest solutions. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.